Hello and welcome. This is Darius Farazande and this is your Friday energy update for May 14th to May 20th. And the big event this week is a new moon, but also Uranus moved from Aries to Taurus. And this is a really big deal because it hasn't happened in 76 years. Literally, the last time this happened was 1934, if you can believe it. And it stayed there for eight years until 1942. And so what is happening when Uranus moves into Taurus? Well, it begins to actually bring in some of these energies. And there are two energies that we can talk about right now that will affect your energy field and what you were doing. And the first one is that when we move into Uranus, Uranus is all about change. And so we are gonna be seeing, as we've been predicting it, UAS revolution and obviously talking about with the ascension and the updates and the illumination of truth, a lot of change, a lot of big changes in the world. They've been happening and they will be happening in your life. And I believe in a really good way as we stay aligned to these energies. The other thing is that Taurus is about the material world and also finances and areas of that. So you may be seeing some big shifts in your material world, what your material world looks like and in your finances. And if we keep our energy flowing and keep our energy open and set the intentions, well, they're always to me going to be good ones. And with it, any new moon, it's all about deciding what you wanna do, what you wanna change, and where you wanna go. Now, because these energies are really strong, they're gonna be in effect for a while, so it's a great time if you haven't already done so to set your new moon intention and just begin to actually go deeper within and really feel into what you want for your finances, for your life, and the changes you wanna create. It's a great time also to write down new ideas, to plug into new possibilities, to get really clear on what it is that you'd like to see come about in your life and use this energy to support you. So remember, the Uranus is supporting change and Taurus is actually supporting the finance and material world change. So you can use this in your life. And whenever we have a new moon, again, it's all about releasing the energy and setting a new intention for the cycle. Now the cycle of a new moon is generally about 28 days. So that new moon cycle is different than the Uranus uh, and Taurus energy, but it's actually happening alongside of it. So you can utilize this to actually just set a new intention during this time and let go of some energies. And one of the big things we are keyed in on is helping you to let go of different energies so you can truly be free. And we had an amazing week of energy sessions this week with Jared Hewitt, Melinda Lee, Helen Heinmiller, and also Carrie Samuels, and some updates from Stargate Experience, Lynn Waldrop, and much more as all of these Masters shared processes to keep you moving forward in your life and managing this ascension energy as we keep rising up. Well, we started with Jared Hewitt, who if you haven't gotten a chance to listen to the session, it was again being reported as one of the best ones that we've ever done and it, they just keep getting better and better. And Jared shared two brand new frequencies that you'll get to experience on the call and also some tools to magnify your intentions and manifestations for this time. And this is really key because right now as we are working to manifest more and shift, his updates and some of the energy shifts you're gonna get will be profound, especially for where we are right now. Now that was an amazing session, so be sure to listen to it down below. And then we had Melinda Lee, which was really amazing because she did a process called Awakening to Bliss. And Melinda Lee, as many of you know, has been one of our most popular healers and teachers. And this was an all new session. So if you got to hear one of her energy reset calls and you loved it or you got to watch that special video call that we send out, guess what? This was an all new live call. It's on the replay down below, but here's what will happen. You're actually gonna get to experience one of the core tenets of her work, which is the awakening to bliss process. When we awaken to bliss, what happens is we actually get into that zero point dimensional gateway for deep soul healing. She shares how to get there and takes you there. So whatever intention you wanna create during this new moon time and this new energy of Uranus and Taurus coming into conjunct, this is gonna be a huge, huge session to listen to and really get those energies clear for where you wanna go and awaken and anchor into bliss. She shows you how. Now, on 
Wednesday, we had Helen Heinmiller, and she is a new guest, an incredible being that had many different multidimensional awakening experiences and started to actually understand how we can take our soul light and bring it back into our body. Imagine, you know, your soul is this buoyant, beautiful, bright energy field source. It's the source of all possibilities, all creation, all knowing. But many times when we're kids or when we go through traumas or sadness or loss, we detach from this soul light. Maybe in a traumatic accident, we leave this soul light. Maybe we watch the news or we see the events of the world as we shift and they hurt our hearts and so we stifle this soul light, we separate from it. I believe this is one of the major causes of misery and sadness on the planet. One of the big things that keeps us locked into this 3D reality. Well, she's figured out how to actually bring us back into that soul light. She does an amazing process to actually bring your soul light back into your body. You are gonna feel it, and then you're also gonna learn how, once that's opened up, it creates like a portal or a tube or a gateway for you to actually experience solar color energies, speak to your guides, connect into higher dimensional intelligence and wisdom, and much more. It's all on Helen Heinmiller's session, and you'll find it down below. Amazing, you are gonna love it. She's amazing, amazing being of light. And if that wasn't great enough, on Thursday we had Carrie Samuels who came back, and we did some incredible energies. We did a chakra illumination activation. Now this is all about purifying all the energies in your body right now. And there's no doubt with so much energy happening everywhere on the planet, there's a lot that can keep us mired down in fear and in the fear grid. And whenever things happen, events take place. Uh, at the time I'm recording this, there was an event in Santa Fe, Texas at one of the schools very close to where I used to live in Houston, uh, apparently a shooting. So I ask, we're gonna dedicate the intention circle that we do right now after this update to those children and families and in that situation. And when that comes in, you know, the energy and you hear about these things, the energy drops. And here's what we have to do. We have to stay grounded in our highest heart. We have to stay grounded into our truth and into the highest light possible for humanity so we can find the solutions, we can find the energy reserves, we can bring the light into the world. And this is what Carrie Samuels helped us do is clear out the chakra energy, but also through her understanding of numerology and astrology, how we can actually navigate to the highest levels and understand what our soul blueprint number is and what our life path is all about, what our soul destiny is about, and how we can align with it. She shares numerous examples of how we can calculate this number, and if you understand what this number is, it's derived by your birth date, then you will be able to understand what your life path is about, and also what those key soul values that really create a magnificent life for you. She shares it all on the call, and then we do the chakra illumination activation. And I believe this information will free so many people from pain and suffering. It's so important that we get it out to the world. And so as you share, as you plug in, as you listen to these calls, you are gonna bring that light to the world. You are gonna be one of the awakened and illuminated ones. We also have some incredible things going on this weekend with some special gifts from the folks at Stargate Experience. It's been a mind-blowing session from them, plus Lynn Waldrop specials and, of course, Jill Madsen specials, and I'm gonna be sharing some updates on how I'm using those tools. So there's so much going on and so much happening in the world today um, that is good, and I wanna ground our energy into that good and into those shifts that will move us into a highest, higher and higher place. So if you are going about this weekend or you've got big plans, or you're gonna be at home, I just wanna send love and light to you. So we'll do a quick activation prayer just for love and light, and also we'll send that love and light anywhere in the world where there is pain, and, and particularly for the situation that I just mentioned uh, earlier. So let's just take a moment, and we can just ground in our hearts to the core of Mother Earth. And I'd ask right now, just bring to mind a feeling of love, of light, maybe a memory that you have of feeling love, an experience of feeling love, maybe a time when you felt deep love for a pet, for a loved one, maybe looking at nature you felt deep love, and just feel this begin to emanate in your heart. 
And you may notice that you have thoughts. You may be watching this and be thinking about, okay, now I'm gonna go do the next thing and the next thing. And that's right now that you ground in this heart and you just allow the thoughts to go by. You begin to just watch them go by almost like cars going by on a road. And you stay in this heart energy. And you notice that your, your thoughts are actually separate and distinct from this pure heart energy that you are. This pure divine soul energy that you are. And that because you have a thought, it doesn't need to drain this heart energy. It doesn't need to drain this life force energy that you are. We can have the thought or we can choose to watch the thought go by. We can choose to let it flow through and leave our space. Happy, sad, tragic, troubling, possibilities, good ones, scary ones. They don't need to affect this heart space. So watch from the eye of your heart these thoughts going by and stay grounded in your heart. Stay focused in your heart and watch them just go by, whatever they are. Practice going deep into this heart and getting the wisdom beyond the thoughts from this heart. So there's a message right now that you have for the world and your heart is gonna deliver it to you right now. So plug in, ask what is that message that my heart wants me to know and watch it come in. And then we're just gonna take the collective energy circle and field of U Wealth Revolution and everybody watching this video, be it however you find it, and we're just gonna send this out to the world right now, to anywhere there is pain, to anywhere there is victimhood, suffering, to anywhere there is someone who is not feeling the light of their soul. And we send it now out. And we also bring it back to you for blessings this weekend, for joy, for possibility, for fun, for love and light, and for your dreams to come true no matter what is going on in the world. You create your reality and you are a gift. I send my love to you and I thank you for watching this energy update. All these sessions down below will be active all weekend until Sunday at midnight, so check them out. And I've got some cool updates I'll be sending and some special gifts as always, uh, just to love you that much more. I appreciate you and thank you always for being in my life. Much love and we'll see you on the next You Author Revolution session. Take care, everyone. I love you.